look at this thing gosh she is looking good on a cloudy day Woo! especially that splitter what's up guys speed culture studios thanks for stepping in as you know i recently uh, installed the amazon special uh, front splitter totally changed the look of the car and i'm super impressed by it for just simply for the fact that it fit and it was less than 100 bucks now as i said in that video it's actually this front splitter for the 2018 2019 base model q50 and of course this is the 2015 but nonetheless it actually fits really well obviously there is more than just how it fit uh, at installation i've had it on the car for a couple of weeks now so i just want to do a really quick review video of how i like it so far and what i don't like about this amazon splitter after just a couple of weeks so I'll start with the things that I actually like about the splitter. Uh, first of all, uh, it's under $100, $190, I believe. I'll put a link in the description below. But the most obvious thing is that it completely changed the look of the car. Uh, you can see it really made the front profile more aggressive. Uh, it really lowered the front end of the car and made it look much more sporty than the base model bumper. I'm not... I actually like the base model bump bumper now that the car is lowered, uh, but the splitter adds a whole nother element, and I think I actually like it better than the sport bumper with a splitter. Despite the material feeling really lightweight, uh, it does seem to be relatively durable. Um, I've scraped a couple of times coming out of some steep driveways, uh, but th the splitter is still intact. I was unsure how I'd feel about the three-piece design, but I actually like it. Uh, made it easier to work with and made it easier to get the splitter in the perfect position. Now talking about how this thing fit, my concern with the splitter specifically for the 2014 and 15 Q50s was this area here. Everything I was seeing is the edge would not go all the way back to the wheel opening. Uh, the 2018 to 19 base model splitter fits perfectly as you could see. And again here's kind of a look at that three-piece design allowing me to get the splitter you know perfectly lined up. I've heard some people complain that the edge kind of slopes up here, but I find it actually functional um, because you're going to have to get in and out of driveways. And actually, if you look at much higher dollar splitters for higher end cars like CTSV or Corvettes, uh, they actually do slope up as well. So this is actually supposed to be like this. Here's what I don't necessarily like about the splitter. You can see it kind of sagging here in the middle after just a couple of weeks. It's because there's not enough support in there. There's the two uh, mounting points, uh, but there's nothing here in the middle. So at high speeds, it's kind of caused this to sag and get a little flimsy. I'm not super concerned about it, though. I think I can get uh, a little spacer in there and figure something out. The problem, though, right, is how much longer can I go uh, with but how long how much longer can I go before it starts to put strain on those two little screws on the underside I will take a look at that but you know before it puts too much strain to where it starts to loosen up or come apart or really really start to sag we don't want that so let's look a little closer I think you can see the screw there see it mounting point and over here you, buy, you probably can't see it but it's just not enough support we're gonna get we'll get something in here um, but we definitely don't want it to sag so much to where these um, two screws here um, start to, you know, experience too much strain. This looks really nice. I, I do love it. But one thing I don't like about the splitter is the fact that moisture kind of pools in these corners on both sides. Easy re resolution, though, is just to drill a hole and give it a place to drain. But it's obnoxious right now uh, with the fact that you drive in any bit of rain or there's any moisture it pools and as it evaporates it leaves this gunk around i do carry a bottle of detailer with me everywhere i go uh, but it's just a hassle having to clean it out all the time uh, the car is already dirty i don't need anything to make it look worse all in all considering all the pros and cons i'm actually really really pleased with this splitter uh, for under 100 bucks it fit really well on uh, the three-piece design although i was a little bit skeptical at first it ended up being very convenient in terms of getting the splitter perfectly into place I was able to line it up right up to the edge of the wheel opening, which is which was my concern with the other splitters that I've seen, um, specifically the splitters of Amazon. I'm super happy with fit and finish. Again, the little bit of sagging in the middle is kind of disappointing, but I think we can remedy it. And you know, you have to temper your expectations when you're talking about 
an item like this that's less than 100 bucks and again three piece so rigidity is a little bit lacking in terms of that center piece uh, but with a little bit of a, a spacer in there and another you know screw going up through or a bolt and a couple of washers i think we should be good to go so like i was saying anyway considering the fact that it is all cosmetic it is completely 100 percent cosmetic and these actually don't look all that bad for being 85 or 90 bucks uh, i really have no complaints it really did uh, change the look of the car dramatically uh, it's much more aggressive uh, the wheels and the lower stance definitely helped with the non-sport bumper but throwing the splitter on which i almost didn't get um, but throwing the splitter on really changed the look uh, i love it i've gotten extra compliments at shows and meets and um, besides you know scraping out of the driveway and really having to pay attention to your angles um, you know I like it a lot so we're gonna we're gonna get it secured up a little bit better than it is and uh, we're gonna roll with it I'll put a link in the description below to uh, the splitter here on Amazon and check out my Amazon store that I got set up there'll be a link in the description for that as well and it'll have all the accessories and performance parts that I've either installed or I like or would recommend um, for, and you know including some wheels and tires and apparel and a bunch of other stuff so take a take a gander through it Hopefully this video was helpful. Nonetheless, if you're considering this splitter, and again, it's a 2018 to 2019 front splitter for the base model Q50, but it will fit the 2014 and 15 for sure. Maybe the 16, we'll just say 2014, 2015 base models, just to be safe. Thank you guys anyways, very much for watching. Really appreciate your support and your continued support. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.